just down the road from California's San Luis Reservoir. High-speed rail contractors are unearthing history near Dinosaur Point. The age is Cretaceous, that's a geologic time scale, um, and that would typically be between about 65 and, and 95, 100 million years old. But this crew along State Route 152 in the Pacheco Pass isn't drilling for dinos. They're studying the rocks that make up the mountain range. For this project where we are drilling four holes between depths of 650 to 1,000 feet, we're looking at about three to five months. Pulling roughly five feet of rock at a time out of each boring, crews carefully clean, measure, and log each sample for further study. These core samples, as they're called, will help the California High-Speed Rail Authority learn more about the ground conditions under the Pacheco Pass, where high-speed rail tunnels are planned as part of the San Jose to Merced project section. If this goes out to, to bid, we will have data available for the, uh, the bidders, the, the contractors, so they can evaluate uh, the conditions that the, uh, the, the tunnel will be going through. Once the core samples are logged, they are moved to a storage facility in Gilroy. It's actually quite a, quite a pretty rock. There, geologists collect even more data and send samples to testing laboratories to obtain engineering properties of the rock formations. We knew that we're getting into the uh, Franciscan melange, and it is well known for being very chaotic, uh, heterogeneous and kind of just throwing you just about anything under the sun. Some good examples of these submarine ocean floor deposits. If all goes as planned, by this time next year, Anderson expects this entire facility to be full of core samples. Back along State Route 152, crews continue their drilling operations. Right now, they're only working on public right-of-way. Once each boring is complete and core samples collected, there's only one step left. In the grout hole, we're going to install vibrating wire piezometer. And what that is going to do is going to give us uh, uh, readings of, of the, the groundwater elevations uh, over time. Once the groundwater monitoring equipment is installed, the holes are filled and the drill rig is removed. When we're done, you hardly could tell that we were here. <laughs>